All right, so let's check out the uh, Ansel BTS, BST600. Uh, this is an automotive uh, battery test system. Uh, it actually comes with a printer and um, where you can do multiple different tests. So this thing uh, is good if you're in a shop or hey, if you're probably watching this channel, you're probably more of an advanced DIY anyway. So this is just a schematic of the um, unit. So let's just go ahead and open up and see what's inside. So, I mean, it should be pretty straightforward. A battery tester usually is just that, just the battery tester. Oh, that's pretty sweet. It already comes pre-loaded um, with the roll of paper here. And, um, well, we'll go ahead and give this a shout out. Take this little plastic right here off. And um, got some plastic right here as well. Go ahead and take that off, focus. And then this is just the wiring and the manual. And that's pretty much it. So let me go ahead and um, fire this thing up here, get this going. We're gonna take it over here to the Brewer and we're gonna test it out. All right, so we're now at the car with the unit. As you can see, we just have these um, just running out to their respective battery posts. Uh, the clips on these things are quite strong and the wire is nice and supple. Just wish the wire was a little bit longer, like maybe at least six inches longer, but at the same time, it doesn't really matter because you're normally gonna be standing like this anyway. So anyway, here's the um, unit. We're just, um, we don't really have to walk through um, any of this here. Let's just, I'll tell you what, we'll just go back to the main menu. You pick either 12 or 24 volt. You can set the date or time if you want. And also if you want the date or time to like be maintaining the unit so you don't have to set it every time you cut it on, there's a button, there's a battery right here. You put one of those CRs, 2032 batteries right here. But anyway, besides that, um, you pick, you hit the right or left key, go from 24 to 12, and then this here's the enter key. So now you can go through battery capacity, cranking test, charging system, data review, language set, and time adjust. So these are the only options in the menu here, which is fine. So let's go back to um, battery capacity. We're gonna hit okay. This battery right here is a regular flooded battery. Um, the, we're going to go by cold cranking apps. You can see it's right here, one through 10. You can do multiple types of standards. So we're just going to do the typical uh, cold cranking apps and um, hit enter. I think this battery has more than 680 cold cranking apps, but somewhere buried under here, I can't see it, but I'm just using 680 just for the sake of this demonstration. So we just hit enter and it's testing just like that. And voila, you have a health report, 100% uh, charge, 85% uh, internal resistance, which is 3.5, which is good. Usually uh, a lot of people, again, just to point that out on the resistance of a battery, when that resistance gets above five, particularly above six, um, you definitely might want to get your battery replaced. That's usually got something to do with the longevity of the battery. But again, you, you, you uh, take that information as you will and just use it as you will. But definitely you want to see something in the three point something range when you see your internal resistance. Um, this cold cranking amps was at 27 C, so it's nice and toasty out here in the garage. Not too hot, but you know, a little warm. And this says great. So all we had now is do is hit enter. And ask you, do you want to print the report? In our case, we say yes. And if you want to change the last four digits of the VIN, you can do that here. For example, like this here, you can just put whatever you want. And um, we'll just uh, not really, we're not really, um, not really worried about that. You go through that one just so you can see. I'm just putting some random stuff so you can see that you actually can change it. And now we hit enter. It actually prints from right here, just like that. So if you was in a shop, you could use this right here to print out, you know, a quick battery report to give to a customer. Or for example, if you was a DIY and you just like to keep written records for some reason or another, um, you could also do that. So let's just, um, let me let me set you down here for a second here. We're gonna go ahead and pull that off, give you a little close up of what we have here. So this is what's, um, um, what comes on the sheet. Don't worry about my hand, that's just, that's nothing wrong with my hand. It's just for me holding the grip that's on my um, camera here. Um, so there you have it. Everything looks good. And so battery test, it gives you all the information you need. And if you need to say, give this to a prospective customer or keep it for your own record, you could do actually that. So now we're gonna move on to the um, 
cranking test and we're going to go to the charge system as well and um but first we'll do cranking test and i uh, will be right back once i set that up all right so now we're going to get ready to do this cranking test so we're going to hit 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 enter right here and make sure all loads are off and then press enter so all we're, we're just going to assume all loads are off i'm just going to do this this is just for a test was all my loads are off or not this is just not really going to be representative necessarily of a one that's going to give you good data because I'm not going to turn my, I got my AC on and stuff in the car, I'm just leave it on. But it's just to show you how easy it is to do it. So now just hit enter and it tells you to start the engine. So let's go start the engine. See, I think I should have my key in my pocket. All right, there we have that. Now let's go back, see what it says. Uh, see what it says now. It says seven, it gives you a cranking time in milliseconds and it volts. So crank it is good. If you hit enter, it says you want to, whoop, whoop, let me go back that ball, whoop. It says you want to reprint the report, we're going to say yes. We just leave that VIN number the same, hit enter, 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 enter. And um, it's printing out just like that. Okay. So let's pull that off. Oh, I ripped the paper, but you'll still be able to see it good enough. Uh, let's see, I had a little hiccup right here on the top part, but as you can see, it gives you all the information, the battery type, the cranking time, and um, pretty much um, just temperature, last four digits of the VIN, and there you have that. So now, let's move on to the charge system, and I'll be right back once I set that up. All right, so we're back here with the uh, charge system testing here. So what I'm gonna try to do here is that when you hit enter, it uh, says turn on all loads and speed up RPM to um, 2500 RPM and press enter. So I can't really do that because I have to get all the loads up to RPM and um, hit enter. I don't know if I can do it and then come back and hit enter. So, um, I'm not sure how to do this. So let me think about this for a second here and, um, let me come right back. All right. So what I've decided to do, uh, hold on for one second here. I got to open my garage up. I got, I got my car running here. What I, um, decided to do is that since I cannot be in two places at one time, I'm just going to just pretend like I hit the gas and hit enter and it's going to test it. It's, it will give you a ripple here. So you will see that actual ripple in it's load testing. So I'm just going to hit enter again. This is not representative, but this is just how you would do it. This is sort of a two person job unless the cord was long enough for you to be sitting in the seat of the car and also to be able to do this as well. So um, let's hit um, enter again. And it says charging good. But in this case, the charging system technically has not been tested, but as you can see, it's just as simple as hitting a button, pressing the RPMs with all the loads on, hitting enter again, turning all the loads off, getting it up to say 3,500 RPMs and then hitting enter again for it to do the full test. So with that said, um, do you want to reprint report? Let's go ahead and hit yes. We'll hit print just for the sake of it here. As you can see, it's printing out right here. There you have it. Let me rip that off real quick. We rip that off, and as you can see, and so charging test, it gives you the millivolts for the ripple, the load and unload it, and the result, the temperature when it was taken, the date and time, and the last four digits of the RPM. So anyway, this has been a video of the um, Ansel BTS um, 600. Great um, um, battery charging and crank system testing also has a printout on it there'll be links in the description if you want to um help the channel out that way with that said you guys take care and i'll see you in the next one